How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnots. We are back for another episode on Monday morning. We should be at work but we had to go and get something done last night so we have to wait 24 hours for the results to come in. I'll tell you guys what that is exactly in a couple of minutes. We are just out here on the side deck fixing up our little curtain at the moment. We've um, got it mounted up and we're just getting the bottom brackets ready to get put back on so what we've got done is put these pieces of wood here and put another one just this side of that line you can probably just see the uh markings and where they're gonna go those dark lines so we're just uh getting that sorted out right now should be up in the next half an hour or so hopefully so <sighs> It's going to be good to get this finally back up and uh, stop the sun from coming through on the weekends because we do as you know like to have our window wide open well that didn't go to plan guys we tried and tried and tried but unfortunately the grout that we try to put the screws in isn't holding properly so what dad has done is put a little bit of this liquid nail so as you can tell there's still a little red bit there that holds the screw in so We'll give it a go, I have to wait 24 hours for it to sort of set and then we should be able to get back to it and screw it in, hopefully. But all in all, that's going to stay up there and see how we go. So, what is this news that I have to give? Let's try to keep it quick. We basically had to go and get tested COVID last night. And don't stress, your boy's all good. So is his mum and dad, so we're very happy with that. Basically, long story short, mum came into very close contact with someone um, that tested positive. And fortunately for her, she missed that person by about 10 minutes. So uh, mum was at the gym, person that was positive went to the same gym. But basically mum left 10 minutes prior to that person getting in. Uh, she stressed out because... Um, there was a potential that she may have bumped into her in the car park, but luckily for her, she was gone probably five minutes prior to this person getting there. So, we're very happy, we're all clean, we're all good, we don't have to worry about this, and that's basically the reason why we're off work for today. So, I've got to send my boss a message in the next couple of minutes just to state that it is all good, and then we're going to be back in tomorrow it's gonna to be a four day week so that's always a <laughs> good thing for me because i love having i like having an extended weekends but in the, in saying that it was a bit of a scary moment so we're also currently in a snap lockdown for five days came in on friday and i was supposed to leave on tuesday which is tomorrow but uh with the cases still rising and everything else in between we may have to go into an extended lockdown so uh, try and get these numbers down as quickly as possible <sighs> i tell you what it, it, this whole thing is a scary buddy thing very scary but i appreciate the victorian government at the moment dan andrews is doing such a fantastic job a lot of people do complain about him don't like him for whatever reason but at the end of the day he's doing the best he can to basically protect us from well ourselves for starters because there's a few people out there that don't give two flying scrotums squirrels whatever you want to call it and there's a whole heap of people like myself who are happy to do it um we don't want this virus to be around as you guys know you guys don't want this virus around to be either so sooner we can sort of get it um get these numbers down the better it's going to be so yeah we'll find out tomorrow and i'll let you guys know if any changes are going to happen uh, at this point all we can do is just sit at home and relax for the rest of today which is what we're going to do uh, we do have cyberpunk 2077 going at the moment so i'm going to play that for a little while and uh, see what happens that's all we can do at this point i'm just happy that we all came back negative for the coronavirus well, looks like I've uh, sat on my bum for quite a few hours now, guys. It's uh, nearly 6 o'clock and it's almost dark. And a little bit nippy outside, so I'm going to have to run inside without it getting too ruddy cold. Alright, guys. I heard a noise 
out here at about 5.45. So I'm going to have a quick gander down the back here. I doubt it will be anything really. Nothing's up there. Everything might be all good in the hood. I'm not sure. But I heard a bang at 5.45 this morning. It's currently quarter past six at the moment. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Looks like everything down here is all good in the hood. Down here are closed. That's closed. That's still here. Hmm. Must be nothing. Nothing down there. Nothing there. Alright, so it looks like it's all good in the hood, guys. Freaked me out this morning. Absolutely stressed it. That was something to do with the backyard. Well, we made it, guys. And we're about to go and do our normal original floor this morning. That is getting our food in, getting our, uh, getting our coffee sorted, getting a warm meal in our belly. So I'm not only tired, but we're hungry as well. I reckon once we've uh, finished this cup of coffee, We'll go for a second, maybe a third, I don't know, but we're definitely going to have a few of these this morning. Because I don't know about you guys, but I look like a hessian bag of uh, donkey's waist at the moment. Simply because we couldn't quite sleep properly last night, so henceforth is why we look like a, a hessian bag of dog, donkey waist at the moment. Not only that, thinking that the backyard's caved in for some known reason. Because uh, we couldn't quite see the caravan. But mind you, I would just wake up, so of course you can't really see much and your eyes don't quite work. And henceforth, as well, we went and had a look out in the backyard to see if everything was a okay. I kind of wish that I was recording the 545 bang this morning, but I don't know. I don't know if the camera would have picked it up or not, but. It's one of those things that sort of stressed me out. It's like, what was that? Where did it come from? There are about uh, two coffees in at the moment, guys, and I can tell you right now, it's going to be a very long day today. A very long day. Uh, not sure about work at the moment, and how many jobs we've got downstairs, but either way, it's going to be a long day. I'm still not feeling fully charged yet. I'm still feeling like that Hessian bag full of donkey waste at the moment, so yeah let's just hope that the day goes quickly uh, two coffees in i think i've hit me limit with the uh fluid intake at this point in time feeling a bit uh, queasy at the moment so i don't think i'll have any more coffees for the time being but now that time of day where we're gonna go and assess the situation downstairs see how much work we've got and see if it's going to be a long day today because I certainly will hope not but on the upside though guys I'm not going to be out in this weather so that's always a good thing because it's supposed to be going to be raining later on today so raining today and tomorrow so I'm certainly glad not to be out in this well to be absolutely honest with you guys I was mistaken on how quick day has been going it's been going pretty bloody quick this morning it's uh, now lunchtime, and last time I checked, it has been raining outside. Oh, there you go, guys. It is raining. Uh, it did say that it was going to do so today. Didn't expect it to be this ruddy hard. Well, it's really coming down now, guys. And we just had a quick bite to eat for lunch. There's not really much we can do about it now, except for... Hopefully it's not going to be too bad when we go home because all the loony bins decide to come out when it's raining, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too bad. Phew, and just like that the day is done. It was a lot quicker than I expected it to be. And not only that, the skies are still looking pretty dark as per the usual. As you guys can tell right there. 
and I can tell you it's a good thing that we work inside instead of <laughs> instead of outside like we used to I'm loving that part of the work well we made it home before the sun went down which is bloody good the sun's just up over there it's uh, not far off being gone but I can tell you right now I'm not hanging outside because it is too damn cold oh moon's out howdy now I don't know about you guys but this is what I see every time I come out here and see Nova Boy because yeah, it's dark out here at the moment as you can see dark just gone dark and he always sits that's close Sorry guys, just heard a kookaburra and it's relatively close. Relatively close. But anyways, what I mean is Nova likes to sit on the front of the cage like that every time it gets dark. Look at him. What are you doing, skitty bait? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Not sure exactly how far away those kookaburras are, but they are closer than they've been. Oh, since the whole time we've been here, as far as I know. They're just uh, literally over by the, the golf course, which is just up over there. But they were relatively louder than the last time. Because you can usually hear them on the way in the distance. Because, as you guys know, right over there, like just past that tree, is the Lurdy Derg National Park. So they would be living throughout all of there. But it's always good to hear them closer by. It uh, just goes to prove that they do like to venture out a little bit. So that's always really good. But I don't know about you guys. Like I said before, I'm going to go back inside because it's too bloody cold out here. Considering that the uh, car said it was 7 degrees. It's about 8 underneath here. Plus a bit of a wind chill. again guys back to the grinding stone back to groundhog day <laughs> oh man i can't wait until today is over and done with not only that i can't wait until this week is over and done with so we can have a another couple of sleep ins over the weekend would be absolutely lovely I haven't been sleeping well as you can imagine is uh getting a bit bloody hard but it is what it is we're here, we're awake, that's all that matters. The only thing about the day though guys, is it looks like it's not going to be as wet and windy as it was yesterday. Mind you, it is still pretty soaking outside at the moment. There is just a slight wind at the moment. So I'm hoping that today doesn't turn out as bad in the weather wise. But again, doesn't really affect me that much. Can't really go out and do much at the moment because we are in a bit of a lockdown at the moment. Especially with the fresh new cases that we've got. I've found out that we're back up into the double digits at the moment. So, we're, uh, last week, the week before, we were sitting around 8, 9, maybe 10 in total. Now we've bumped up to 80, 80 plus new cases. In the last few days because a couple of removalists decided to come through New South Wales down to here uh, which is quite close uh, they were literally right on the other side of town in this town that we're in at the moment uh, they were relatively close for comfort but with having that test done knowing that we're negative for the whole coronavirus we're a happy camper all right time to go and get this day over and done with I can't exactly sit up here all day long watching videos because that would be quite nice, but uh, doing that is not fair on the other guys. So I'm going to get this day over and done with. And then once that happens, 
we can uh, relax for the rest of the day. And hopefully today goes as quick as what yesterday did, because yesterday went relatively quick. Oh my goodness, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm trying to build this lock up at the moment, and it is an absolute pain in the backside. I've done it about four different times, and each time, it's just not working for us. So, but luckily enough, we are on lunch at the moment, so we can have it an hour away from it. So, now uh, get some tuna and rice in our belly, and hopefully by the time we get back, it should be all good. Well, we finally got that bloody lock sorted out. I had someone else look at it, and we found out that the body of the lock was not lined up with the barrel. So, no matter what I would have done, it would have not been wouldn't have worked either way. While I was doing that, I came across a little malfunctioned key as well. Uh, it's um, something that I've never ever seen before. It's the first time and I'm about to show you guys what I mean. So, that is what we call a malfunctioned key or a deformed key or um, I don't know, I don't know. Just one of those keys that should not be, that we can't sell. That's, uh, <laughs> that is awesome. That's the very first time I've ever, ever seen something like that. And I'm certainly glad that we came across it when we did. Because that is a severe malfunction right there. And with all malfunctioning keys and bodies of locks and all that other fun stuff, we're going to sit back and relax for the rest of the day and not think about another bloody lock for the next 12 or so hours. I'm going to sit here in our no, new little hoodie. That's right, guys. It's an hoodie. And it's one of those blanket jumpers that uh, is nice and bloody cozy, I must admit. The sleeves feel just like a normal jumper, but the rest is like a baggy sort of jumper. That is going to fit quite nice. There's <laughs> down near the knees at the moment, so my knee is right there. It is fitting like a baggy blanket, and that's exactly what we want. I'm going to sit back, relax for the rest of the day, and stay nice and warm for the rest of the night. So, basically, what I'm basically... So, we're basically going to leave it at that, guys. We're going to call it a night. We are stuffed. So, we're going to go and rest up for the night and enjoy the nice, cosy hoodie for the rest of tonight. So, in saying that, we shall see you guys tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but uh, the following week or so. Uh, depending on how this lockdown goes as per the usual so in saying that i will see you guys in the next video until then keep it easy